first thing is that I bought this Australian multi-universal so that's for your England and who knows I think it's Japan or something but that pulls out of there and then there's the other one where's it gone you see how do you get that out and then that pulls out of there that then goes into here like this and then I plug that in so then I would take this is the lead to my recharging station I call that a recharging station and it was a very long lead and you make go oh, no very good idea oh for goodness sake my nerves are frazzled I tell you after today what the Samuel is going on here how could it get this twisted up you've got to be kidding me right okay there it is so now that would go into there wouldn't it you, you would say that and I'll put that in there I whack that into there bingo as they say bingo <laughs> bingo and that would go into there nice and secure and now I can charge I can charge my portable power station um, I can charge of course the iPad I can charge the phone which I'm using right now here's the problem now the taxi guy chucked my bag in the back of the taxi in the boot and just three bags weren't going to fit but he just pushed mine in there and slammed the boot on it and I had the laptop in there in my bag so I'm just going to check that first and see that I've still got a laptop yeah that looks okay all right so I need the I need to bring the MacBook because and I've realized that when I go on motorbike rides like long-term ones for a week or so on camping I, I can't process my video unless I have the laptop with me but I've got this five terabyte hard drive and it's a it's a sturdy one to travel now here's the issue the issue is this this is the plug it's got a third it's got a third prong on it so it won't fit into there I can't charge the MacBook so I can't process my video unless I have the laptop with me but I've got this five terabyte hard drive and it's a it's a sturdy one to travel now, if I want to recharge my um, laptop or power it up, I have to go and borrow Liz's adapter because she's got one with three prongs on it. I mean, what the hell? Why would you give me an international one that doesn't even do a plug in my country, let alone everyone else's country? Just beware of that. I'll put that there because I'm going to do that now. And that's the cable. Now, this is a this is a C, it's a C USB, and of course my MacBook's not a C USB, so I had to pay $15 for this adapter. Not at a, does it now, but not at the speed of a C USB. So that's unfortunate as well. I, I like this cover. See this cover? It's very strong, it's a, it's a UAG cover. It's very strong on both sides and of course you can just fold that under there like that and then I can watch that anywhere see so that, but let's see if we can't get on the settings settings Wi-Fi not connected Wi-Fi is on acro by LAN 1 
that looks like it. So it's there's no protection on that whatsoever. Hmm. Hang on, what's this say? Uh, it's all in German. It's saying to me, Kostenlose Internet zu gang, uh, dieser Hotspot ist kostenlos. So mein Login bestagen Sie sie bitte die AGB und Datenschutze Klagerungen. Now, Bestatigen. What does Bestatigen mean? I don't want to press. I don't want to press. You can't see that. I don't want to press Bestatigen unless I know what it is. So let's go to Best Atigan. Let's just hit that. Oh, so I won't be on the internet though, will I? To, to look up what the Statigan is. You shouldn't be pressing German buttons, I'm telling you, unless you know exactly what they are. The Statigan. So, uh, we're going to do I, no internet connection. So I go back to that unsecured, cannot verify the server's identity. It can't be verified, not trusted. It's all good news so far. Auto join, what am I doing? Well, I'm not connected to the internet, so, and I, ha I haven't got a thing for my phone. My phone is useless. The only thing my phone does is track me for Google. So I've got no internet and I've got no phone service, but Google still knows where I am every minute of the day which is comforting, isn't it? I can't do a search for the word because I haven't got the internet. The word was Bestatigen. Bestatigen. Sight, it's not connected. Uh, of course, well, all right. Oh, it's, it's like every turn there's a problem. It's exhausting. Back to settings, Wi-Fi, there it is, no internet connection. Why is there no internet connection? Okay, the Stadigan. Do I have to remember this? Let me take a photo of that screenshot of that, because I don't know what that is. It's a whole lot of... I've taken a screenshot. It's the IP address, the MAC address, the Bytes, the Bundan, Zeit, Ubrig, whatever. Done. So hit done. Right, I'm on an unsecured network. So we're just going to be mindful of that, that we don't use it for any other reason than surfing uh, football games, the rugby, or, or St. Stephen's Cathedral. So now, let's see what the Stadigan means. Reload. There it is. It means... <laughs> it's given me... I should in English. It's given me just the German meaning of the word in German. Bestadigen in English. It means confirm. There's a word you know now. All right. Take out this fellow. Now, this was very good. I walked all through Vienna with this in the city and, and into the cathedral. And I thought, well, why don't I use it? Because um, I'm going to have a lot of problems getting all the photos and things off the off my Samsung. I'm actually going to get an iPhone as soon as possible. I think it's a week and they're going to come out with that. So um, I thought, well, I should just take everything with this. And it was working out really well until it, I didn't run out of battery because this has excellent battery life. I ran out of storage space because it must be a bit thirsty on the storage. So what we do is this. We simply pinch that. Have we gone dark here? Did I lose light? Just, I'm going to go and turn a light on. It looks like I'm just in the darkest part of the room. Okay, and I've got no pants on because it's so hot. On. It's been very hot over here. So I just pinch there like that and that pops out. They're good. I'm going to have to recharge that service box so I can plug this into the station. That I can charge the uh, GoPro with that. But I'm, I used that one. There's the GoPro. I've got to sort that one out. That's overheating all the time. I have to sort that out very soon. So I take that one. This has got a dual option. See there? That's got a dual option. Like that. 
I whack that into the charging station and then I place them in. So that battery there was, yep, that's gone red and this one should go red as well because that was dead from yesterday. And there we have it. So they will charge now. <clears throat> this one charges three at a time for the GoPro. I'm actually looking into, you can get a longer life one. They're white, not blue. They're white. I've numbered them so I can monitor their monitor their progress. You, you know, I suspect some of them might be going, but I can keep a track of that. This one is a C cable, and that is only a C. That will only take a C. USB-C. I slip that into there, and this tells me that um, it's either red, yellow, or green. That's it. that one's just gone yellow. So I know that this this one's no good. This middle one is full. So I'll put this one in and see how that goes. If that if that um ooh, wrong way. And that's red as well. So all three of those will be charged too. We're looking at um, filming filming the, the fighting and Liam as well on his iPhone. So we have two cameras working at once to get the action there. So now I push this out like this and it releases this minute, minute card. It's a hundred, 256 gigs. 256. So I now uh, get from here this fantastic little device. It's just a little thing. And we take that and we place it in there and just push that in. So now that it's in. Look how small it is. And I'm going to stick that now. I've got to turn the MacBook on, of course. So I'm not. I plug in the open the MacBook, turn it on. Funny thing, MacBooks, if you, if, you, if you plug things in before you've turned the MacBook on, it doesn't recognize them. Very temperamental. The password is password. No, it's not. Right, that's booting up. Then I plug both of these in and I will transfer that to here. Now, a little hint with this, I think it's always, especially with a GoPro, but probably with this as well, the best thing to do after you've downloaded material off your card is to reformat the card with the device. I was just wiping it off, but I've heard that it's better to reformat the card. You just press re... I think on the 360 it says re, uh, delete and reformat as an option, so you just do that. And on the GoPro I do that now as well. Okay... And uh, we know what the statagen means now. It means confirm. And there it is. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Can you see that okay? So that's my, down here is my uh, little card. And there's my lacy drive. So I'm just going to get that and put it into there. Make the appropriate fold names. It took me two days to, to, to work out how to, to back up my Samsung onto a MacBook after all the problems it kept giving me. I just persisted. And then uh, it took a whole day, eight hours, to back up my Samsung onto the MacBook, but it's good that it's done. But I'm still taking pictures and, and video now, so I've got to get that off. I think there's a better way. I need this other one called the Android file transfer and I think I can just access the phone and just take the ones I need instead of having to do the whole lot. I can't do that again, it took too long. So now I've got to wrestle with Android file transfer. When I use my PC, I would plug my phone in and it just automatically recognised it as a folder with, with pictures and videos in it and I could work with it, but the MacBook, oh boy. I gave up on the GoPro. It just kept overheating while I was in Furstenfeld. It was horrifying. I missed so many good things. Got, I had this massive conversation with a, with a German farmer that thought I was snooping on him, but when I told him I was a tourist, he, he mellowed out, and we had this nice conversation neither of us understood. It was quite funny, and it didn't record. Unbelievable. 
and I, I don't understand why I can't cut. I'm not. I've only just started using the MacBook for this kind of work. I can, I can copy and paste, but I can't cut. I don't understand why I can't cut. Oh, come on, give me a break. Please select. I'm mentally exhausted. No, it's done it again. See, this, now, trying to use the touchpad up is just a pain in the neck, so it's good, so I can protect the mouse. Turn the mouse on there, you saw that green light. Is that not moving because of the thing? Hasn't picked it up yet on the, here we go, connected. All right, so now I've got the mouse, it's much easier. Capacity 255, available 107 gig. Why did it stop, you mongrel? I, could have, I couldn't use it, it wouldn't turn on. That is really annoying because I, I would have filmed a whole lot of the flight in the airport with the 360. But it wouldn't start again and it kept flashing blue which means it's trying to work well that's unacceptable isn't it well keep an eye on that but it says it's going to be about an hour 111 gig why did it stop working that's interesting so that's it i'm all set up here there's my gear the laptop the storage just charging all the batteries and uh, charging the phone, that'll be it.